A famous TikToker who goes by the name of Ak9 is actually one of those people I really love. One, because he's Meru like me. Mm -hmm. And I'm not preaching for tribalism, but sometimes Meru content can be hilarious. And he has been talking about his life in general. We all saw his post that was going viral last week about him scratching up his face, really looking banged up and swollen because he had decided that this time he will not cook Kedanda. Kedanda is a big fat rat in Kimeru. He decided he was going to try and experience experiment with spiders and unfortunately the repercussions were really really major in fact he was talking about him feeling like he's probably not going to make it for the rest of his life because that was a huge huge mistake on his part however now he's talking about that particular content seeping into his love life okay mm -hmm. so according to our friend he says that um his girlfriend or his former girlfriend actually left him due to this particular style of content according to him he says that his girlfriend started getting a lot of hate on social media from friends and uh, people that he knew mm -hmm. or followers a lot of trolls coming at her and these are his actual words he says i am single my girl left me from um from online trolls and threats which led to her being attacked at her home that's why you should hide your girlfriends or your girls because the streets ain't safe cap he actually said that apparently um after now his video was trending and everything he mm -hmm. did speak about that as well and he said that if that was his last video the video of him looking all swollen up it would have been fun and entertaining and risking my life as well i love risks because um because we live a risk we all gonna die so F it. Much love, comrades. But then we're all just going back to the question of why is his girlfriend being trolled by random people? Mm -hmm. I don't understand why his style of content would even ask or, you know, get trolled for. He's a funny TikToker who eats funny things. And honestly, at first we thought he didn't eat them. But then we started seeing videos of him actually eating like moles and other funny creatures. He's always trying to do the most when it comes to his delic delicacies and talking about how, you know, men should allow their women to, you should let your woman sit down for a minute and cook for her and all that. So I'm wondering how a person who sounds very romantic in real, in real uh, on his TikToks can actually end up losing a girlfriend simply because people are like, no. I I'm even trying to figure what are these trolls telling this girl? Because, like, what would be the words that you would troll someone with over the content that their partner is creating? I genuinely am super confused. And I am completely lost at words because it makes no sense to me. Maybe there are other things that are happening there, AQ9, and you're not telling us. AQ9, AQ9, A A9, I don't know. Maybe the things you're not telling us over there because I don't feel like that's justifiable enough. It doesn't feel like it warrants a girlfriend leaving you okay. simply because... I mean, no, Nanika, there is, there is a math here, which is not no, math. No, one no, plus no, one no, is no, equivalent no. to 22 because two is not the answer for me. Imagine the rock of your life, the simiti in your foundation, the, you know, your pillar of strength out here eating spiders. It is mad embarrassing. How do you know? Like babes get together. We get together and we talk about our relationships and someone's like, yeah, my partner does this and this and this. My boyfriend is this and this and this. And he's a compass dude. So I'm thinking, yeah. my boyfriend does architecture. My boyfriend is doing medicine, blah, 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 blah. My boyfriend took me to the club. And your only contribution to this conversation is, my boyfriend is TikTok famous, but sometimes he be eating spiders. I can see the trolling. Like, how does he kiss you after he eats a bird? How do, how do you guys make out after he eats a whole rat? It is mad embarrassing. And his undue pressure to put on this babe and expect her to support you. It's not like your Salt Bay, you know. Salt Bay was a bit attractive, you know, he was doing uh, his thing. Did you just Master call AQ9 ugly? Yeah, AQ9? I didn't, call him, I, I didn't call him ugly. He is just okay in his own right. All I'm saying is, you cannot be out here cooking very insane things and eating them and then expecting to be very attractive to your babe. Imagine if your man was doing this. Okay, hell no. You're, you're just chilling and, you know, after classes, you go visit your boyfriend and instead of the regular campus environment of just chipu and weed, it oh and the plant <laughs> uh, and the plant. <laughs> oh, <tia> going hashtag <laughs> <It's here laughs> mixing, mixing cook, ungayangano and fish and 
he does very insane it's, recipes. But the problem is he eats it. That's my problem. Like, in my mind, I'm like, oh, yeah, it's just funny content. You're just creating it. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, raising a stunt of, like, yeah, I'm eating it. But, like, this man do eat it. I did not come to this life to suffer. Imagine if I got, like... I was allergic to something he was cooking and then he kissed me and then I died. <laughs> For what? <laughs> For what? Like, it's not worth it. I do understand the babe leaving him. Mm -hmm. it, is, it is also very embarrassing. How do you even tell your relatives, this is my boyfriend? How do you present this man who eats bats on social media as your boyfriend? Huh? I don't know. Yeji Mukbang. I, like, what? <laughs> Yeji Mukbang. <laughs> no, I feel like this is a bit stretched on his part. I mean, even the girlfriend, I get, but it's hilarious. That's the whole point. He's, he, it's hilarious content. And I feel so like you're just supposed no, to be laughing about it. As much as we're laughing about it, there is something deeper going on with this boy. Because it's not normal to just be risking your life and then writing this risque captions, talking about if I die, I die, blah, 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 blah. It just speaks to the type of person this person is. Like, are you doing this to entertain people or is there something deeper going on mm. and you're experimenting with this very risky things until one of it kills you? I mean, I'm, yeah, it's what, a lot. Please come on our a show whole and explain for to us. Come on our show. We will appreciate you coming on. And honestly, I just feel like people have different delicacies. We're not hating on like Asians <laughs> when they're eating like snakes that are about to to with the most poisonous venom that exists. No one is ever hating uh -huh. on them as they eat on mukbang. They're eating our actual, actual bamboo appropriations. Sticks. Yeah. Okay? Come away, ni meru kula mira. Ah, we, 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 you know, we, like we. just do your thing, hey. okay? Vaite, sa kukuji amurome. Anyway, let us know. Do you think that it's a bit excessive? Do you think that his girlfriend actually left him because of the trolls, or do you feel like there are deeper seated issues that presented themselves in the mm -hmm. relationship, and then she just like, by the way, me, I'm not about this life. Mm -hmm. Let us know. The number is zero seven seven two nine three six six.